and Eric Abidal in Gijon. And the net result was their lead over Madrid was cut to five points. So, Mars, was that policy the correct one? Well, obviously it didn't work for, for Pep in this game because they just uh, cut that uh, uh, run of, of victories. I think that uh, they really didn't get into the game properly. They started slow and they, they couldn't find the spaces. And in the end, the Sporting uh, were able even to, to be ahead in the, in the score. It was very difficult for Barcelona after that. They, they couldn't. Uh, they, they could never get rid of the sporting defenders and it was hard for them to, to find uh, goal chances when they usually create a lot more than what they did in this game. In the end they rescued a point and I think it was a, a fair result to be honest. Was this confirmation game that Barca have a poor squad? Probably, uh, because in, in one hand you've got a... they were playing three games almost. They were playing this game, they were playing the game where Espanyol was going to play against Espanyol and they were playing the Arsenal game. So, as you said, rested one player per line and it happened what's happened in most of the games that take place after International Week. Uh, their, their average points is about 80, 81%, which becomes 49% in what they call the, the FIFA virus after International Week. Because they are forced, Guardiola is forced to play some of those players that are not regulars. We're talking about Mascherano, Afelai, Milito. And Definitely Milito was very poor and partly to blame in the first goal. Afelai had to be replaced as well because he was far too deep and he still doesn't understand what a, what a winger has to do for Barcelona. And Mascherano as well.